Milu's Healthy Cooking. Today I'm making 7 cup cake and you have can other name is 7 cup burfi. It's known as a 7 cup because the ingredients are 7 cups. So let's first check what are the ingredients. 1 cup of chickpea flour, 1 cup of a coconut, grated coconut, this is a fresh coconut, 1 cup of a milk, I have taken almond milk, you can take whichever milk you want, 1 cup of dry fruits, I am taking cashew and walnut, 1 cup of ghee or a butter and 2 cups of sugar. So total it comes out to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and these are 2 cups. So 7 cups. So that's the reason it's called 7 cup burfi. And the method is very easy. So let's just do it. Okay. First step we have to roast gram flour. Okay. So let it be inside. You have to roast it and make sure you roast it on the low flame. Okay. So we are roasting it and we don't want to change the color of this flour. We just want to roast it till you get a nice aroma from it. Now I can literally get nice aroma. That means it is done. And it took me round about 2 minutes. Okay. So now I don't want to burn it because the vessel is hot. So immediately remove it to the other vessel. Okay. Okay. In the same vessel I will take butter or a ghee. Okay. And let it become hot. comes hot. I'm adding now walnut and cashew nuts. Okay. Roast it for some time. You can take dry fruits whatever you have in hand. There is no particular things that you have to take such. Okay. So you can take whatever you have. I roasted it for a few seconds and now I am adding coconut. Okay. okay. Mix it well along with the coconut. Now I am adding this chickpea flour. Okay. okay. But make sure your flame is low. everything together okay after mixing this now it's the time to add milk this is my almond milk and you take whatever milk you want okay so, and with the milk I am now adding sugar so this is a 2 cup of sugar. Now mix everything well. So now go on mixing till you get thicker consistency. Okay. Instead of 1 cup of a milk, you can use 1 cup of a fresh cream or a heavy whipping cream. That will also give a very good richness to your cake. Now you see it's coming out from the sides. So it has become thick. Okay. So at this point you, have, you can add some cardamom powder. Okay. You can add cardamom powder as much you want. Okay. I like little more flavor of it. This is full of dry fruits. 
and coconut crunches which comes in your mouth it tastes too good okay so it is done now put off the flame and we will transfer it to the greasing pan I, this is greased i have already greased it and now i will transfer it into this pan now you can decorate it whatever uh, dry fruits you have at home you can decorate it with cashew raisins or anything you can take i am taking almond flakes okay so now we will allow it to cool down for some hours so once it cools down we can cut it into the shape so we'll wait till it cools so it's been cooled down so i had kept it in the fridge for some time so now it has been perfectly cooled so you can cut it either with a pizza cutter or some knife or perfect so but don't cut it before it cools and you can give it whatever shape you want and let me pull one same way now i would like to make few of the laddus okay check this perfect right so this way you can go on completing so see how nice it looks now i'm going to taste it it's real tasty full of dry fruits coconut gives a yummy taste Please do try. Thank you for watching and check my other recipes.